Rachel, Emily, you guys are corner conference tournament champions. First time East Mills has ever done that. Uh, just how does it feel? Feels really good. We worked really hard for it. Stanton played a really well game, but in the end, I'm glad we came out on top. Um, being a sophomore, I mean, that's fun. And last year, we were so close. And this year, I'm so I'm excited we did it. What does it mean? You know, the last couple of years, you guys have probably had the second best team and been close, but ran into a buzzsaw with Sydney. What does it mean to finally get that under your belt? It feels so great. Um, we definitely, in practice, worked really hard in doing everything possible, watching game film, practicing what they were doing. We knew they were going to come out stronger tonight, and we knew we had to play harder than we have been. Maybe a little bit of a sluggish start there in the first set, then you guys came out second set and it looked like a completely different team. What was clicking? Um, we just, we got in our huddle and we had our talk and we told everyone that you can pass that ball better than what you're doing, you can hit the ball better than what you're doing, and you can set the ball better than what we're doing, and we did it. A lot of us were in our heads and we just kept telling each other, we're okay, we'll get through it. Talk about your guys' nights offensively. You both put up really stellar nights. What was working? Just talking to our setter, we knew we could out jump them, so we just quit running our tips or our quicks because they were blocking them. They were telling me where to hit all night, and I was hitting those spots. It really helped. They battled back in the fourth, forced to fifth. You guys kind of had your backs to the wall there in the fifth, down six. So, what was the message in that timeout? Um, Connie definitely told us that we needed to get out of all of our heads and that to play East Mills volleyball. And she told us just to keep calm and keep playing our East Mills Volleyball. How do you guys try to build off a win like this? I mean, you're going to turn around and see them again next week, but how do you go forward from here? Definitely work harder in practice. Whatever we were messing up today, even the small things, drill them in practice. Just know that they're still going to come out even stronger, so we still have to play hard. Coach, uh, wow, what a match tonight. Uh, and you guys get to do it again Tuesday, but... You guys are corner conference tournament champs for the first time ever. Just your thoughts? It's been a long time coming, and uh, I'm just so happy the girls won this tonight. It was a great battle, and I would say a, probably a good classic. Yeah, it was a classic battle for sure. You know, the last couple of years, Sydney's kind of controlled this conference. You guys have been right there on the doorstep. Uh, what does that mean to finally get over that hump? Oh, that's a huge relief, and then this just builds the confidence for our team. First set, you guys maybe looked a little sluggish, came out the second set, looked like a completely different team. Uh, what was kind of the difference maker there from set one to set two? Uh, just just change of mindset and let's get going. Everybody was saying, I kind of feel slow, so they, they picked it up. Then they come back, they win the fourth, they start out really fast in the fifth. You guys are down six and they're raised to 15. What was the message to the team when you called the timeout down 9-3? Um, I saw uh, a little celebration over on the other side, and I told the girls, you know, they think they've won already. It's not over till somebody gets to 15 or win by two, so keep pushing and be aggressive on offense. Yeah, Rachel kind of put the team on her shoulders there. The service line had a couple of timely kills as well. I'm sure as a coach, having coached her the last couple of years, her being a senior, you like to see that? Oh, I definitely do, yeah. Uh, Rachel's really become more of a consistent volleyball player all the way around. Talk about her and Emily's nights. They were all over the place offensively. Um, those are our two really powerful hitters. And we have Kayla on the outside who always comes up with a kill. Um, but those two just uh, have that power factor. of They get a, get a hold of one, um, get it down. It's, it's going to be definitely a kill. How about some of the other girls tonight? Randy Canope was all over the place defensively. Jamie Davis had some really big kills as well. Yes, Jamie came through really big tonight, got some more blocks um, and hitting. You know, you start tipping, we got to hit the ball. And I think being aggressive on offense helps a lot. Randy's always moving and talking out there and um, doing a great job. Ebony's in the back row, she's a very good passer. Uh, had me on the right side, kind of pulled her off a little bit when Tara was hitting the ball pretty well. So um, it worked out. What does this do for you guys going forward? Uh, maybe gives you a little bit of a confidence booster as we get into the fun part of the year. Right, it's a it's a really good confidence booster, and like you said, we got to play Stanton again on Tuesday. It's going to be another battle. Uh, nothing's going to be given to you, so they got we got to stay focused and one play one play at a time, one game at a time, and stay healthy.